welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio today. Please come check out the studio the next time you're in town. Don't forget you can buy my book, Yoga for Healthy Aging, as well as the Yoga for Healthy Aging t-shirts on my website. Uh, there's a couple buttons to do that, uh, so check that out today. And of course the book is co-written with Nina Zolotov. So today I'm excited to share with you a standing pose that brings a standing twist into play for the body. Um, it's, I'm calling it an upright revolved triangle uh, because it's not going to involve the tip and turn that's associated with the classic uh, pose uh, that I first learned in my early Iyengar classes known as revolved triangle. So I like this upright version because I'm not a big fan of forward bending and twisting at the same time because for some people it's a lot of stress on the lower back. So this upright version still gives you some balance to work with on the legs that are asymmetrically placed and then you get to work a little bit with the core muscles and it's a hands-free twist, which some of you probably already know I'm a big fan of because it requires the core musculature all the way around the body to work instead of cheating with the hands pulling you into the twist. So we're actually gonna stand at the front of the mat and bring our legs into position as if we were getting ready to do warrior one and then I'll show you where we're gonna go from there. So stand near the front of your mat with your feet hip distance apart and let's go ahead and step the, uh, the left foot back into the warrior one footprint. And then from there, we're gonna keep both legs nice and straight. So the other pose that we come into from this particular leg position is the standing forward bend uh, with the legs that are sometimes known as the pyramid pose. So from this position, we're gonna remain upright and we're gonna bring the arms out in line with the shoulders. And then on an exhale, keeping the legs strong and the knees straight, we're gonna just start to turn the upper belly and chest a little bit to the right. Now you'll notice that I don't get to go very far before the restrictions in the bones of my spine and the tightnesses in my tissue stop me from going any further. But I'm feeling a pretty good stretch right now and I'm also feeling that my legs have to work strongly to maintain the integrity of my feet on the floor and the straightness of my knees. So I have to work on my balance as I'm staying vertically aligned over my pelvis and rotating through the central axis of the spine. Watch out for this back arm swinging forward and this arm going back to create the illusion of more turn. Keep the arms in line with the shoulders. And then I'll come back to neutral and lower my arms down and then I'll step forward to the front of the mat. Okay? So that's kind of right leg forward rotating to the right. I'm going to go to the other end of my mat and I'm going to take my uh, uh, right foot back this time and turn the foot out. And then again, I'm going to bring the arms up and up to the side. This way I'm actually turning towards you so you can kind of see how this is working. And then straightening both knees on an exhale, I usually enter on the exhale to take advantage of that's effect on the core of the body. On the exhale, rotating to wherever you can to the second side. It might be more or less than you could on the first side, but you're just seeing where you can take it. So the legs are strong, the arms are reaching out away from the center. I'm washing out for that back arm swinging forward. I want to keep that nice and even. And I'm going to stay here for a couple of breaths. So on each side, probably a six breath to eight breath stay is a good idea. You can work up to longer holds as you get more comfortable with your balance and with the strength required. And then come back to center, exhale your arms down, and then step to the front of your mat to release. Try that out in your practice and see what you notice and see how that feels for you this week. So remember you can follow me online at my website as well as my Facebook page, which is Baxter Bell Yoga. Obviously, I have a YouTube channel by that same name. You can also find longer practices on the practice channel at the website yogayouonline.com. Until the next time, thank you so much for joining me, and namaste.